Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen, and last time we received the message from the Lunarians. They seem to have been thoroughly and utterly destroyed, but it's not too late for life on Earth. We're on the other side of that cave now, which means we're in new territory. Anybody coming that uh, poses a challenge to us? I see a Patasaurus here. I think we ran away from one of those once upon a time. Oh yeah, I'm doing much better against them now. Oh wow, but that... Uh, it's a, it does have a big chunky attack. Forgot about that. But it's pretty easy to defeat. As long as I don't get too terribly unlucky. Uh, okay, yeah, I move really fast in this mandular form. So it's kind of hard to sit on top of the fountain. But a barasaur, a barasaurus, unlucky attack. But, okay, unlucky attacks are roughly equivalent to my regular ones. So, wow, 868 for a desperate, holy cats. Saltiposuchus, I think that's from the previous tier, so I'm going to do pretty well against that as well. So it looks like it's time for a grind and see how far we get... Let's see how well we can do grinding. And it looks like we're in a good place to fight and get Evo genes. So let's see how we can do grinding before we move too much further onward. Okay, we're now down on the fourth tier. We're a Pachycephalosaurus. Let's see how far over in endurance evolution takes us. Over to Teratosaurus. Okay, what is that? That sounds like one of the made up ones. No, it's not. It attacked herbivore dinosaurs using its sharp teeth and curved talons. But we're on the next tier now, so I feel pretty confident in our abilities. We're looking more and more T-Rex-ish all the time. Looking good. Let's fight a Barasaurus. Okay, at an unlucky attack, it does 208 damage. Otherwise, it does not make a single dent. 900. We're getting close to doing 1,000 damage on desperate attacks. That's absolutely wild. Uh, I... No, I don't recall moving in a direction, but let's just keep fighting. Wow, this is great damage. Takes a defensive stance, probably going to take a couple more. Got a little unlucky there, but Apatosauruses and Barasauruses are pretty uh, easy to take on at this point. What do I have? I have Onslaught, that's probably great. Okay, let's try, let's try that Onslaught. How much damage does that do? 340 and 340 that's 680 yeah that's slightly more than a normal attack but not a crazy amount so so let's uh keep trucking i think we're good enough to oh we got a nice little pool here the pool is enveloped by fire but it still makes for a nice steam bath it looks like all right wow we are doing great right now so we should uh we should probably stay and grind while that is the case, but we're going around the world here. Ooh, a special little rock. What's up with the rock? I don't know, but I feel like I want to evolve a little more before I go for it. I love moving in the endurance direction, but I want to I want to dump a lot of points into my other qualities as well. I don't want to I don't want to abandon or neglect those things. Uh, but the key to going over to the left side of the chart is going to be to do my rightward evolutions first and then do my leftward ones uh, after my attack and my vitality so that once I get to the peak of evolution, I'll only have left to go and maybe hopefully score that uh, nice little mammal direction. We'll go vitality. Vitality seems to me to be the least important of them for now. Let's see what's in this monolith area. Okay, this is a sad place, so and it's very hard to see what's going on around here. Uh, a lot of the background details blend in together, but clearly we're meant to climb trees with our tiny T-Rex arms. That doesn't seem to present a, too much of an obstacle. So let's go. Let's go talk to somebody who's who's seen things. Are they sad? Pteranodon female. You're gonna climb the mountain without wings? Sounds tough. Good luck. But you know, I've never been one to back down from a challenge, so. Looks like there's plenty of ways to go up the mountain here without without wings. Although, hey, where are you headed? You're heading to the elders on the peak. Tell them I said hi. <laughs> uh, is that guy making fun of me? Hey there, going to hear the elders' prophecies too? 
I guess so. Is, is that what he's known for? Ah, I made it to the top of the mountain. That's all you stupid pteranodons. I didn't need some. I didn't need some. Well, maybe I did. I can't seem to get off here. I can step off to this side, but that's not where the elder is sitting. So let's go over here, I suppose. Looks like I might be able to... This is uh, a tough little system to navigate here. So, can I really not make it up here unless I have the ability of flight somehow that lets me go off map? This is a... Oh, man. This is a... Yeah, the tree is broken, so I can't go to the top of it or anything. Well, looks like they were right to make fun of me. My wings... My wings can't do anything. Oh, no, I can't reach that treetop. You sure I can't... You sure I can't just step over off to the side from here? Seems seems kind of a, like an odd deal. Let me make it all the way to the top and then make some weird invisible boundary? What? Why? This, this isn't fair. I completed the challenge. I made it to the top of the mountain without wings. This, what do you... What do you want from me, game? This is ridiculous. Well, this seems like the place to go, but... Seems like this is where I want to be, but... I think I have to go over here if I would know. Well, now I'm just stuck on the mountain. Great. Oh, no. There's the vines that lead down here. Well, they have this big elaborate system, and then they don't let me get to the very tippy top? Very, very rude, I should say. That's, that's not how you treat a fellow dinosaur. I'm very disappointed by this rock. Maybe I need to be a flying type of some sort. Wow, I can seriously just eat a tree and be fine? Is that what I was doing? Huh, okay. What about the pool here? The pool hurts, so do not go to the pool. The pool is not safe for reopening yet. Some of these trees... Huh. Weird. I swore I heard something... Okay, so I guess I need to evolve in another direction or keep going somehow. Uh, let's see. Let's let's keep traveling. We may not have evolved in a direction where where uh, where we can do whatever is at that mountain. Maybe that's the Mount Brave equivalent. Although I don't remember that being in Chapter Four. So I'm gonna go in here and see what they have to say. Ah, this is a much happier place where they're not wingist, and they keep Gaia's hearts around. They're a lot cooler here. Skullosaur C, you're you're not from here. This is our secret spot. I guess you can come in if you don't get violent. All right, very well. What if I tear down these trees? Is that too violent? What do you have to say? Have you heard of the Lucifer Tyranno living on the southern continent? Oh, so Lucifer has taken the form of a Tyrannosaurus in this. I heard the Lucifer Tyranno used to be a weakling a long time ago. One day he signed a contract with a god called Lucifer who made him stronger. Wow, Lucifer probably even accommodated... Oh, as long as I eat palm trees, I'm fine. Oh, that's... That's nice. A friend of a friend knows a guy that signed a contract and got super strong. You can uh, generally do that these days. The, the baseball endorsements and the whatnot. Very cool. There was a guy named Taryn that came by and talked about a Lucifer Tyranno. And he said, I've got to do something for him. And then he headed off south. Well, what you can do for me is let me have this. Hey, hey, 420. The sex number. Nice. Okay, let's do some evolving. Alright. We can go in any number of directions with 420 genes. I think I want to take some... I think I'm going to take some wisdom this time. That's going to send us left to... Pasitacosaurus. Cetacosaurus. P. Cetacosaurus. Ate the stalks, roots, and leaves of succulent cacti. Using its parrot-shaped beak. Ancestor to Ceratopsia. Michael Ceratopsia. Let's see, how else, how farther leftward can we keep going? So, if we go, alright, let's go, let's go into Vi, let's, we need to dump a lot into life at this point. We're pretty strong right now. So if we keep going south, we're going to run into Lucifer Tyranno, who, despite the handicap of having very tiny arms, was somehow able to take a pin in hand and sign soul over to the devil herself so let's get out of here i don't think okay maybe the maybe the pteranodon people will respect me more when i save their friend but let's
let's see. Let's see how well I do with this new. Okay. 632. We're finally over a thousand on desperate attacks. Holy cow. And a pad of sources ain't no thing but a Bronto wing at this point. So, okay, so we're going through the water here. I think we can probably take the land bridge down to here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to cross through water bridges more frequently. But... Okay, maybe this is a dead end, or I have to go around the other side of the continent somehow. It's hard to tell sometimes, but I'm getting more used to what this game expects of you. Pachycephalosaurus, that is on my level. So I should probably hang back for a little bit. It's going to take a defensive stance. I'm going to take that time to recover. Alright. Oh, but an unlucky attack. That gets me... Whoa! Something did 960-some-odd damage to me. Owie. Okay. Okay, yeah. So this is about... This is a little too far for me at the moment. I should probably stay in the neighborhood and heal and fight things that are a little bit below me. I think it's time for another Grindosaurus session. So let's see how far we get. Fighting Apatosaurus is definitely the comfort zone right now. And I think we get fairly decent Evo damage out of it. 77 apiece. Should be pretty easy to grind here and get a lot to work with. All right, I did make it back to the mammal side, all the way over to the left on the fourth row, as you can see, on that little sticking out branch. But I think attack, I think evolving to 3376 will take us down to the fifth tier, which is going to make us a hyena dawn. So we're going to be kind of like a prehistoric hyena now. Had a body resembling a wolf or a dog. Attacked ungulates and had a demeanor similar to a hyena. And we've got plenty of genes to work with. So I think for this next evolution, wow, it's going to take a while to evolve Endurance, which is probably, actually makes a lot of sense. So we've got 264 genes. I think we might be able to evolve if we go for, can we evolve if we go for, yeah, we could actually evolve in a Vitality direction if we wanted. It would probably take us over to Dinosaur Land. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot into vitality, so that my uh, endurance and wisdom evolutions remain. All right, yes, I want to evolve. That takes me to Corifidon. Is that also a mammal, or is that back to dinosaur? Lived in swampy regions. Looks like a cross between a taper and a god knows what. Resembled a taper the size of a rhinoceros. So it is still kind of mammalian and then let's just dump the rest in i don't know attack because that's fine can always use a little more attack so let's go around the water here i think this is the path we're supposed to take this is where we saw pachycephala whatnots oh no a brachiosaurus i didn't want to fight that just yet an unlucky attack hits me for 539 otherwise about 200 i'll just keep running in on it should be able to heal right here without too much opposition yeah, I'm actually perfectly on top of it to the point where they can't hit me. There we go. Just wait for people to come up to me. And there we go. Okay, yeah. I'm much more on level. Very, but I think we can take on people at this speed. I think this might be where we want to stay and max it out. Brachiosaurus aren't too hard to fight. I don't know about Pachycephalosaurs yet. Unlucky attacks kind of hurt, but even then they're not terrible. And we get, we're getting 84 a pop from them. Okay, so I'm going to want to... Okay, this is a fast-moving animal. For a, I didn't know tapers were so fast. Good grief. But this... Uh, I want to see what this Pachycephalosaurus does to us. 267 for regulars. Yeah, a defensive stance is fine. I'm fine with it being defensive. That means it's not attacking me. So, yeah, this is another good spot to go to. Let's see here. Yeah, another good spot to just sit and do our thing. Okay, we're back to Hyenodon. If my understanding of evolution is correct and when I'm going to jump tiers, I should be able to evolve attack now and go down to the next tier. Hyacoriodon. Okay, yes. I wanted to go down that far left end. This character was made specifically for this game and doesn't exist. The peak of evolution 
is a green monster hyena that is not actually real. That's wonderful. So now, if I take a direction, evolutionarily speaking, okay, so I've decided to go all in on attack. So can I evolve going... Okay, I cannot go past. So it looks like I'm favoring wisdom and endurance slightly over attack on this evolutionary track, which is interesting. They don't all even out, so that's kind of weird, but also really cool. So I'm going to go ahead, since I'm not evolving anymore, I'm going to go ahead and max out attack because my endurance is pretty good, and I think we can move on now. So uh, this, uh, this hyena, this fake hot green hyena is a really fast creature, though. Ah, here we go, a cave. It's probably time to move on anyway. Let's see what goes on here. Okay, there's a rock in the way. That's interesting. How do I move the rock? That is just straight up a dead end. So let's go around then, see what happens. A great blaze enveloped me. I can still use the jeans though, so that's good. Oh, and the temperature rose suddenly. Well, I'm just getting free jeans all over the place, probably because uh, nothing helps me anymore. Golly! Random events like crazy. I can probably just, yeah, go all out on attack, go all out on endurance, or as close to all out as I can. Gained a few hundred points in a single pop there. So yeah, so random events are going to be helping me out now. I think I may have gone in on the wrong end of the cave. Let's see if I can get around. Doesn't look like I can. Do I need to go back to the Pteranodons and see about them? Let's see, let's... Okay, I could go up through here, but also not really. So was this just a nice little grindy grindy spot? Water still hurts me, I am hurt by water. Alright, what about this rock right here? This must be the one that's in the way. So I need to go talk to someone else and see about getting this rock removed. Because, uh, as strong as I am, I don't seem to be able to move on. Okay, back at the safety zone, they're telling me the fearless Terran went south, but I heard the southern cave collapse, so you can't make it through on foot. Well, I guess you could get through if you could dig. Is that an ability I now have imbued upon me? Have I activated something by talking to that guy? Well, despite moving faster than the speed of light, I made it to the peak here, so let's see what he has to say. And just who are you? Well, it doesn't really matter, not to someone like me with little time remaining. The Elder Pteranodon was on death's door at this very moment. Yeah, I'll listen to an old bird's final words, especially if that request is getting rid of a rock that I need out of the way. I've foreseen our planet disappearing in the blink of an eye, and yet no one will lend an ear to the prophecy of an old bird. My request is you go to the southern continent and tell Terran of this prophecy. He is training there. Terran would believe my philosophy... Pros prophecy? <laughs> And tell everyone else I get my words mixed up in my old age. <laughs> oh, he died. That's unfortunate. How are they going to feel about that? Huh? The Elder, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's done with jokes now, I see. Our Elder's prophecies were a bit over the top, so I didn't really listen to him. Yeah, well, prophecies do tend to be that way, but this is a video game. You should always believe the prophecy. Only Terran could succeed the Elder. So now I guess it's probably a good idea to go down south and see about that rock, I would imagine. Okay, this looks like a cave I may not have reached yet. Let's see about it. They all look the same, so... But the lay of the land does not look familiar here, so I'm optimistic that this could be something... Oh, hey! You hear hushed voices from the other side of the thicket. Another of us was eaten by the lizard. These are the Ectoconus thugs. Stay calm, we must endure for now. We may be pathetic egg thieves now, but that won't always be true. Nah, I can assure you it pretty much will be. I did it! What? You did what? Something useful to me, hopefully. Shut your mouth. You went to find us a new hiding place, right? A good spot. What good spot would that be? Aha! The cave to the south. Don't shout so insanely loud. <laughs> the rumors say there's a monster in there. It's exactly what we want. The lizards are too scared to go near it. Well, good thing I'm not really a lizard. Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, they can hear me sneaking up, huh? You hear 
hushed voices from deep within the thicket again. Boss, wasn't that cave sealed shut by a landslide the other day? Here we go. This must be the one thing I had left to trigger. He dug it out, so we're not digging out ourselves. We're relying on NPCs to do it for us. Frankly, smart, you know? Work smarter, not harder. All by yourself. I'm confident in my ability to never know when to give up. Same. How'd the inside of the cave look? Well, it got dark further in, but it took a left and then another left. Right. Oh, right. It took another left there. And then a right, a right, and another right, and then a right at the end, and six steps. So a bunch of lefts and then a bunch of rights. So is it telling me how to get through the maze? It's a reptile. Yep, that, well, no, I'm not really a reptile at this point. I'm more of a weird feral hyena thing but yes i agree you should still run away wait for me there's always one straggler in the bunch <laughs> i can't totally eat their eggs <laughs> ran away without even taking your food supply with you not that it matters and it can heal me but i think that is the big event that i needed to trigger to get that rock out of my way so we're gonna go back to that cave now and i think that should be a good stopping point assuming that the rock is now out of place so we should be able to probably cook with gas get around pretty quick there we go yeah come around from here uh get out of this place love you guys and i'm glad you're happy where you're at but i'm destined for greater things i need to move on i need to move on to how far away am i I don't think I'm that far off. I think I'm at least past the Lunarian Cave. I don't think I had to backtrack through there. No, it's right, right down the way here. Very good. Okay. Let's use bumpy walls to our advantage. Ah, I don't see a rock anymore. There we go. So we're going to stop right there. And next time we're going to go in the cave... And I have a feeling, being as we're at the end of our evolutionary track and all, that this is the end of the chapter. So, these chapters are taking about four videos, give or take half an episode. So, seems pretty consistent with our pace so far. We're going to save and stop right here, and I will see you guys next time.